with Zillini, and I'm super excited because it's... Yeah! 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 It's game time! You see, being a super fan is super important to me because it's a great way to show your team kindness. Kindness is showing others they are valuable by how you treat them. Being a super fan shows my team just how much they mean to me. But kindness is bigger than just being a fan of sports. We should be kind to everyone and be fans of the people we see every day. But kindness isn't just about cheering someone on, it takes action. Ollie and his friends on the Froggenheimer Show are going to learn that today. And I can't wait, I'm a super fan! Froggenheimer, Froggenheimer, Froggenheimer! Wow, Froggenheimer Show! Oh, that was probably a little much. Okay, just watch this. Just sit right back and you hear a tale, a tale of a family. Their names are the Froggenheimers, normal as can be. They have a lot of friends you know, they're over every day. They learn good lessons and what the Bible has to say. The lessons that they learn each time will help you live your lives. Always turn to God's word to open up your eyes. Get on your mark, get ready, set, ready, here we go. It's almost time, boys and girls, the Froggenheimer Show. for the game. All right, bye. Thanks for coming. Hey, Mrs. F, that was a good game. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I know the Colts weren't in it and they're not gonna be in the Super Bowl this year, but I bet they'll be in the Super Bowl next year. <laughs> I hope so. You know, the Super Bowl is the biggest game of the year. <laughs> wow, this place really is a mess. <sighs> Mrs. F, I know I said I would try to stay and help, but yeah. I totally forgot that I need to go feed Mrs. Schinkel's dog. She's out of town, and I promise. Uh, yeah, I know the game went longer than we thought it would. Oh, it sure did. Yeah. I really have to go, but it was a great game, and yeah. hey, thanks for the treat. Go Colts! <laughs> go Colts! Thanks! Glad you came! Oh, man, this is a mess. <sighs> oh, Mrs. F, this party was so fun. Oh, I'm so glad you came, Tyler. Uh, well, I wouldn't miss it. I mean, I love football. Yeah. And I love your food. So it's a perfect combination. Oh, thanks, Tyler. Yeah. Anything for you, Mrs. F. Aww. Wow, this place is a mess. Half empty cup, you know, banners everywhere. You got dip stains on the chair. <laughs> okay, okay, I get it. Hey, could you give me a hand? I mean, Margo was going to help me, and she had to go help with the dog. And and Ollie, I don't know hey, where... you know what, Mrs. F., I just know it's the time. It's later than I thought. I, I really got to get going. Uh, but, but but wait, Tyler. I, I really was hoping you'd give me a hand. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know what you need. I got you, Mrs. F. Okay. Yeah, you probably Thanks. need me to take all this stuff and, and these cookies. You're not going to eat those what? cookies and these chips. I love those chips and <laughs> Rice Krispies treats. You're probably allergic or something. So I want to help you out. I got you. I'm going to help you out. You're welcome. I got to go. Thanks. Great party. Thanks for coming, Tyler. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, really was a fun party. I mean, everybody seemed to have a great time, and and the football game was great, and the food all turned out, and, and there's stuff everywhere, and this place is a complete mess. And, man, I know people like coming for the parties. It's just nobody wants to stay around and help. Oh. <sighs> Okay, God, I really need your help because I feel kind of tired and 
kind of overwhelmed right now. So would you please just give me patience and and just give me some joy as I pick up this mess down here. And thanks, God. Well, I better go get my cleaning supplies. It's going to take a lot of work. Oh. Whoa! It was an awesome party! Where is everyone? Mom? Guys? Oh, that's weird. I must have went down. Those atomic hot wings. When I eat those things, sometimes it makes the whole world go dark. And then I take a nap. And then my smeller comes back. My hearing comes back. And then... Oh. My standing comes back. Oh, whoa. Oh, the chips. My favorite. There's some left. Oh, I have to have just a little bit. Oh, hopefully this will cool down my, my throat. It's on fire. Oh, just a small bite. Oh, mm, these are these are like, oh, I can't taste a thing. My taster won't be back for another week. Oh, I might as well just get out of here. Oh, wait a second. One more. Oh. oh, I guess it's a party foul on me. I better pick this up. Wait a second. I think I heard my mom say something about helping with the basement, cleaning up this mess. Uh, where is everyone? Guys, I, I dropped the chips and uh, you dropped everything else. Oh, well. I'm out of here.
chapter 10 tells us about a time Jesus was speaking to a crowd when a lawyer stood up and tried to trick Jesus, putting him to the test by asking this question. He said, Jesus, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Well, Jesus responded by asking what the law said. And the lawyer, he answered correctly when he said, love the Lord your God with all your strength, with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. But then the lawyer went on to ask this, well, Jesus, who is my neighbor? Well, Jesus answered him with this parable. There once was a Jewish man traveling on the road from Jerusalem to Jericho, when some robbers were waiting along the road to rob people. Suddenly, they jumped out to attack the traveler. There was no one there to help. The robbers beat the traveler and stole everything he had and left him badly hurt on the side of the road. After a while, a priest came by. He noticed the man lying on the side of the road, but instead of helping the hurt man, he crossed the road and walked on the other side, acting like he didn't even see the man. Next, a Levite who worked in the church passed by, but he didn't stop either. Things weren't looking so well for the Jewish man. Think about it. Two church workers didn't even stop to help him. Well, there was another man who was traveling down the road next, but the man was a Samaritan. Now, what you need to know is that Jews didn't treat Samaritans very well. They thought that Samaritans were troublemakers, and so they just didn't have anything to do with them. So Jesus continued his story. A certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came to where the man was. When he saw him, he had compassion. So he went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. And he set him on his own animal, brought him to an inn and took care of him. On the next day, when he departed, he took out two coins and gave them to the innkeeper. Take care of him, and whatever more you spend, when I come again, I will repay you. After Jesus finished the story, he asked, now which of these three men do you think was a neighbor to the man who was left beaten on the side of the road? Well, the man who asked him the question at the beginning replied, well, obviously it was the one who had compassion and helped him. And Jesus looked at him and said, go and do the same. You know, the point of Jesus' story is that everyone we come in contact with is our neighbor. And Jesus wants us to show kindness to them. So how do we do that? Well, let's think about the story. In the story, the Good Samaritan showed kindness by serving. Think how he showed the traveling Jewish man kindness. I mean, he cared for his wounds, he took him to a place to be cared for, and he paid for the entire bill. That was a huge act of service. So remember this, show kindness by serving others. Think of all the ways that you could serve people you see every day. Maybe it's your brother's turn to walk the dog, but he isn't feeling very well. So you could serve him by taking your dog for a walk. Whoa! If someone has their lunch tray and they drop it in the cafeteria, you could show kindness and help serve them by helping to pick it up. We can look at the way Jesus lived and see how he showed kindness to everyone by serving them. I mean, he fed people who were hungry he healed sick people, he listened to people who were hurting, and then he showed the greatest act of kindness by taking the punishment on the cross for our sins. There has never been anyone more kind. Actually, there's never been anyone who has served us more than Jesus. So let's show the kindness of Jesus to the world as we serve them and show them just how valuable they are. Would you pray with me? Jesus, thank you for the kindness you've shown us by dying on the cross for us. We don't deserve it, but we're so grateful. I pray you would help us to show kindness to everyone you put in our path. 
Help us to think of ways we can serve others. We love you. Thanks for loving us so much. We pray this in your name. Amen. Guys, can't run the big operation cleanup without a game plan. I got it. Stay here. Okay. You first, Ollie. Hold still. Oh, yeah. Is that going to leave a mark? <laughs> yes. This is real football. Okay. Ready? Uh-huh. Yeah. So my man. Yeah. <laughs> Did I look good? You almost look like a mouse with whiskers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. This is football. Let's do this. All hands in. Oh. oh. On three. Clean up. One, two, three. Clean up. Clean up. Clean up on two. Let's go. Get down. Blue 80. Blue 80 set. Okay, guys, guys, huddle up, huddle up. <sighs> Come on. Okay, this slow motion is not working. <sighs> we gotta speed it up for Mrs. F, all okay. right? Yeah. Okay. okay, so fast motion on two, on two, ready? Oh. And break! <laughs> What happened in here? Oh, well, I mean, you had a party, everyone came, and it was awesome, Mom. I know, but I mean, what happened in here? Mom, uh, don't be scared. I mean, Tyler painted these stripes on her face. Um, it's still us, Mom. <laughs> no, I mean, who cleaned up in here? Did you guys clean all this? I thought you couldn't help. Well... When Ollie told us that you prayed to have the basement cleaned up. Ollie? You heard me? <laughs> it was probably the hot wings. Okay, I'm going to pretend I understand what you're talking about because I'm so thankful for you guys right now. I mean, Mom, I mean, this is the least we could do. I mean, everybody pitched in because there's no I in service, Mom. Um, team. Okay, there's no team in service. No, there's no I in team. Oh, Mom, Tyler painted the stripes on our faces. I still have my eyes, Mom. Okay, team. Oh. Okay. Blue 82. Oh. Appreciate it. Oh. Yeah, you're, you're welcome, welcome, Mrs. F. Anytime, Mrs. F. <sighs> wow. This place looks so great. Thanks, God. <laughs>